What's up, everybody? Happy Wednesday, October 2nd. Again, welcome to Q4 of 2024. I'm Paul Hickey with NoOffSeason.com. This is your weekly basketball card market update on the NoOffSeason.com Sports Card Network on the Sports Card Strategy feed, brought to you, of course, by NoOffSeason.com, the number one place to get all the information you need to make money flipping sports cards. NoOffSeason.com. Get a free 30-day trial there today. And the basketball card market is heating up with media day hitting last week and the NBA preseason set to tip off soon, followed by, of course, the beginning of the regular season slate, which always heats up the card market pricing. And we're going to talk more about that on the Sports Card Strategy main show. But today on this show, it's Wemby, Wemby, and more Wemby as we take a look at the top sales data Over the last seven days from a number of sales, the Victor Wembenyama 2023 Topps Chrome Base Raw is way ahead of every other sports card, every other basketball card, I should say. 332 sales of that card in the last seven days. Average sale price, $17.53. But I want to dig into something here because on market movers right now, we see a sale. uh, Typically, this card is selling for around $15 to $20. We see a sale today recorded for $83.87. And I want to dig into that sale a little bit because we see it here, but then it's not recorded uh, as a completed sale, even though it's showing up. Um, And we've got some other data that should not be showing up in here, like the wrong card. Uh, Topps Chrome Sapphire Selections is is not that card, obviously. So Market Movers has a little bit of cleaning up to do. Um, They typically do a great job. We use Market Movers almost exclusively here at NoOffSeason.com. Use the promo code NoOffSeason to get a free uh, 14-day trial followed by 20% off for life. I would expect to see this sale of $83.87 be wiped out of Market Movers, but it is in there right now. Um, Wemby's Prism Base 136 Raw Sold 188 times in the last seven days for an average of $28.04. I expect that card to hold strong and steady. Uh, In PSA 10, it's the third most sold card uh, in the last seven days. 140 sales in the last seven days. Average sale price, $108. So that is is going strong. Wemby's Optic Base Raw, 118 sales. Average sale price, $9.03. Wemby's Select Concourse Blue Retail in PSA 10, 112 sales, average sale price, $41.07. There's literally just more and more Wemby cards as you scroll down. The the only non-Wemby card in the top 20 right now, well, there's three of them. Dikembe Mutombo, um, who just passed away on Monday this week. Uh, His 1991 Upper Deck Base Raw sold 74 times in the last seven days. Um, Kobe Bryant, his 1996 Topps Base Raw, Sold 46 times in the last seven days. And Anthony Edwards, his 2020 Prism 258 base raw, sold 47 times in the last uh, seven days. Average sale price, $18.44. All right, so we go over to the top graded cards by sales volume. We already talked about Wemby's 2023 Prism base PSA 10. It's almost a pop 20,000, but it doesn't matter. Um, Way more than 20,000 people want this card. And again, 140 sales. In the last seven days, average sale price, $108. Uh, The Concourse Blue Retail, Wemby, PSA 10 is next. We talked about that already. Wemby's Prism Base PSA 9 is third, 73 sales in the last seven days. Average sale price, $33.80. His Optic PSA 10 sells for $51.73, 71 sales. And then notable, the Prism Silver 2023 Wemby PSA 10 is a pop $32.51. That sold 52 times in the last seven days. Last sale, uh, 842. Average sale price, 877. That's one I expect to go up. Out of all Wemby cards, I expect that one to go up the most this season from a percentage standpoint. Um, okay, now let's look at basketball card sales in the last seven days by top sale price. Number one, Michael Jordan's 1997 Metal Universe Championship, number 23. Precious Metal Gems out of 50. This is a unique card. Uh, graded in PSA 5.5. Sold on September 28th for $195,200. 
Michael Jordan's 1986 Fleer based PSA 10 is a pop 325. Once upon a time, back in like 2021, this was the grail card in the hobby. Uh, it's actually down quite a bit to 184,200 from that point. It sold for that that amount on September 28th. Dennis Rodman's 1997 Metal Universe Precious Metal Gems Green serial numbered out of 10 in PSA 7 sold for almost as much as that Jordan that I just talked about. $183,000 sale on September 28th. That tells you, I mean, not that Dennis Rodman isn't a popular player. It just tells you the value of the Precious Metal Gems Green out of 10. You could almost have anyone's Precious Metal Gems Green out of 10 and it would go for a high dollar amount. Steph Curry's 2009 National Treasures 206 Rookie Patch Auto out of 99 in BGS 8.5, sold on September 29th for 156000 And Michael Jordan's 1984 Star 101 base in BGS 8.5, sold on September 28th for $79,300. All right, now I like to look at cards with five or more sales in the last seven days and then go by top sale. So Michael Jordan's 1986 Fleer Base PSA 8 sold 11 times in the last seven days. And the last sale was September 30th for $7,000. That's up quite a bit, up $700 from its previous point. Jordan's 86 Fleer Base uh, number 57 PSA 7 sold seven times in the last seven days. Uh, highest sale was September 29th for $5,060. LeBron James's 2003 Topps Chrome 111 Base PSA 10 Sold six times. Last was or highest was on September 30th for uh, 4350 bucks. The, the Fleer 57 86 base Jordan in PSA 6 sold on September 30th for 3900 LeBron's 2003 Topps Chrome 111 base in BGS 95 Gem Mint sold on October 1st for $1,850. So big difference between the BGS 95 and the PSA 10. Uh, almost a three, almost almost a three thousand dollar difference. Uh, Anthony Edwards' Prism Silver PSA 10 sold on September 30th for $910. That is a notable card that has stayed right around $1,000 all offseason. Victor Wembenyama's 2023 Select Premier Level Blue Prism PSA 10 is the top riser by price change percentage. To be in this category, you have to have 10 or more sales in the last seven days. Be graded rookie card only. Have to be 2012 through the present. That card is up 60.7% or up $24.30. The next biggest riser is Wemby's 2023 Prism Deep Space Silver PSA 9, up 52% or just under $8. Caitlin Clark's 2023 Bowman Chrome University First Base Prospect Card number 50 in PSA 9 is up 38% or almost $18. Anthony Edwards' 2020 Prism 258 Base PSA 10 is up 29%, almost $29. And Carl Anthony Towns recently traded to the New York Knicks his 2015 Prism 328 base PSA 10 up 20% or $11. Caitlin Clark's 2024 Panini Instant Draft Night base PSA 9 is up 20% or $22. Last sale of that card, $134. Ridiculous on uh, October 1st. That just that card is just went to the moon. Ridiculous. And if you followed that play by listening to the Sports Card Strategy Show, you're welcome. Uh, all right. Our final category of the basketball card market update for this week is the largest fallers by price change percentage. Same category, got to have 10 or more sales in the last seven days. Got to be a graded rookie from 2012 through the present. Wemby's 2023 Prism Monopoly Base 81 PSA 9, down 35% or eight bucks. Wemby's 2023 Prism Instant Impact, number three insert, in PSA 10, down 34% or 19 bucks. Wemby's My House Optic 2023 PSA 10, down 31% or $22. Caitlin Clark's 2023 Bowman U Now number 64, base PSA 10, down 26% or $12. And here's a notable one. John ja Morant is 2019 Prism 249, base PSA 10. That's a pop 22,000 card, is down 22 or $13. Today's episode is brought to you by CGC Cards, the perfect place to slab your favorite sports cards. From their crystal clear holders to their affordable pricing, CGC Cards is the perfect stop for your grading needs. Go to cgccards.com to start grading your cards today. A 1998 Hoops Kobe Bryant shoutouts sold in CGC 9 uh, on a best offer accepted of $19.99. Thanks for watching the weekly basketball card market update. 
I'm Paul Hickey. Go to youtube.com slash Paul Hickey. Leave us a comment, like it, share it. Leave us a five-star review on your favorite podcast app and stay tuned for our Monday and Wednesday Sports Card Strategy Show full episodes and Friday's premium podcast at nooffseason.com. Definitely go over to nooffseason.com and get a free 30-day trial. Take sports card school, get the formula-based sports card rankings, and ask me an unlimited amount of questions to help you build your sports card investment portfolio. Again, free for 30 days. I'm Paul Hickey. Everybody, thanks so much for watching the weekly basketball card market update on the Sports Card Strategy Show feed. Thanks again to our sponsor, CGC Cards. Have a great day.